It's time for a story with George. Hello everyone, I'm George Buxton. Guess what? It's time for a story. I'm going to read you the story of Badger and the Great Storm by Suzanne Chu and Caroline Hedler. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Badger and the Great Storm Mighty Oons from Acorns Grove sang Badger as he bustled round his cosy burrow tucked beneath the root of the old oak tree. It had always been a happy home for badgers. Suddenly there was a squeak at the window. Badger! cried Mouse. Have you heard? The terrible storm is coming! A storm? cried Rabbit, hopping up. My nest will blow away, laughed the bird. And what about my lettuce garden? Hedgehog gasped. Badger, whatever will we do? Don't worry, smiled Badger. We'll make your home as strong as castles. First, Badger made a sturdy door for Rabbit's burrow. To keep out the wild winds, he said. Then he used some upturned flower pots to cover hedgehogs prized lettuces and filled an next nest box to keep bird safe and dry. There! sighed Badger, happily tying Mouse's ladder in place. Thank you, Badger! Mouse squeaked. Now, please tell me hope the bird's storm is nearly here. Badger trudged back towards his old oak tree, but very soon the rain was pouring down. Oh dear! Badger found as thunder crashed and a wind howled. Oh dear, oh dear! Suddenly, a door flew open. Badger! yelled Rabbit. You must come in from the storm. Well, it is a bit blustery. Ho, ho, ho! Chuckle, chuckle, Badger, and following Rabbit inside. The baby bunnies gathered round. Will we get blown away? They cried. We're quite safe here, said Badger gently. Now, who would like a story? And... As they snuggled close, the bunnies soon forgot to be scared. All through the night, the storm roared and raged. Thunder boomed. Lightning flashed, and the animals shivered in their homes, waiting for morning to arrive. But when the sun came up, the friends had a terrible shock. Where will poor Badger live now? gasped Hedgehog. They there have always been badgers under that old oak tree. You can stay with me, trilled Quillbud, though my nest is very high. Or with me, suggested Mouse, where it might be a squeeze. You can share with me, cried Hedgehog, but we need a lot more leaves to snuggle beneath. When Badger and Rabbit arrived, the friends rushed out. Oh, my poor, poor house! <clears throat> Badger sighed sadly. How can we help? squeaked Mouse. Yes, what can we do? asked Hedgehog. Badger took a deep breath. <gasps> Don't worry, he said slowly. Every problem has a solution. First, let's rescue my box and gather my pads, called Badger. Then we'll turn this grand old oak into a brand new house. The friends set to work at once. There was a job for everyone. No matter how small, for days and days, they chopped and sawed and hammered and painted until they had used every last piece of wood to build something very special. My wonderful new home! Bean Badger. You're the best friends I could ever wish for. Just then, Hedgehog rushed out. We forgot to use this! He cried, holding up a tiny acorn. I know just what we'll do with that, said Badger. Mighty oaks from acorns grow. He dug a little hole and they planted it very carefully. And from that day on, and forevermore, there were always badgers living under the new oak tree. The end. Oh, and 
don't forget, uh, listeners, make sure you look out for some more fantastic tales of fun and friendship from Little Tiger Press, like Boo, Big and Small, Katie McGinty Wants a Pet, Mummy's Little Sunflowers, Eddie and Dog, and finally, us the friends are all. And thank you for listening to George's Storytime. And we'll be back in the next one. So I will see you in a minute, viewers. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.